And questions about whether or not their top running back, DeAndre Swift, will play. He comes out throwing to George Pickens, the freshman, their leading receiver, and again, Agora. On third and three from the pass, and on target for a first down. Pickens got just enough before he got upended. It's starting offensive tackles, two standouts, Andrew Thomas and Isaiah Wilson both opted not to play to prepare for the NFL draft. Fromm's throw way too high. Goes back to what you were saying, Todd, about what Kirby Smart said about Baylor. They out-hit you, they out-hustle you, and he wants his team to match that. From way off, intended for Tyler Simmons. It's a passing game that is just completely out of sync. From the tempo team this year, Coley told us they might use more tempo. High snap, and Fromm forced to go down on it back at the 12-yard line. Hide. Will they use him in the pass game? We'll find out. He flips it back to Fromm, a flea flicker. They have a couple of men running deep, and it's George Pickens. A big play. Jamison Houston tackled him inside the 15-yard line. Not only making the pitch, but watch DeAndre Swift also, after he pitches the ball, pick up the blitzing linebacker Bernard. Just enough to give Jake Fromm extra time. Big Fromm. They pressure Fromm. It's off to Pickens. And he's down at the six-yard line. But, uh, about Lane Kiffin. Jake Fromm, back shoulder throw on target there with George Pickens. Point of attack. Jake Fromm over the middle and almost intercepted. And he's upset with himself, intended for the tight end, Charlie Werner. Well, Charlie Werner prevented the interception. He, he knocks the ball out. He turned from receiver to defender immediately. In this Baylor defensive line, these three, they stand up so much, so different. Pickens really become their lead. Kind of plays against them in the Big 12 championship. Pressure from Fromm's left. He throws for Pickens. He runs under it, catches it, and a touchdown for Georgia. The guy that they feel confident making contested catches. He's going against Jamison Houston and a perfect drop in the bucket. By Jake Fromm, right over the outside shoulder. You can't throw it in a better spot and eat DeAndre Swift. Three-man rush. They don't get anywhere near Fromm, so it's Pickens with his eighth catch. Ten to nothing. They fake to McIntosh and the throw to Tyler Simmons, and he couldn't break free of the tackle after a gain of five. Great. Another play action pass from Baylor fans want a holding call from throws it away. Unable to establish the run. And Kirby said that was his biggest disappointment. Pickens again having a monster first half. The tight coverage, no help. From surrounded, gets it off for Charlie Werner. Dog receiver to have 100 plus yards receiving in a Sugar Bowl game. From on target, George Pickens tried to leap over Graylin Arnold as he approached. Wonderful sight, Todd, for Jake Fromm to look out there and see open receivers. Beautiful route. He really fooled Chris Miller. The, Miller was trying to give extra coverage, but that little in fake froze Chris Miller when hurt this year. And right now, Pickens is the only proven guy that they have. Like James Lynch was offside. DeAndre Swift was back on the field for one of his few snaps of the night on that play. Dan Landing on the other side, one of the five finalists for the Broyles Award, 63-year-old veteran of 42 years in coaching. Offense, James Coley, the offensive coordinator, he's done a very nice job with the play calling tonight. It's been a variety. And of course, when you have success, as they second down and eight, under two minutes to go in the half. Georgia leading 13 and nothing. From to the end zone! Caught! Touchdown, Matt Lander with Pickett. Watch the corner jump outside. He runs the post and the ball is right on him before the safety can get over there to help. It's the exact same route that he didn't take the shot to Pickens and they settle for the field goal. This time he gives Landers a shot and they come up with a touchdown. First half. Brom looked at Swift. Instead, 
Throws an incomplete pass. Batted away by Grayland. So first possession of the half for Georgia. Jake Fromm on target. Into the boundary with that big body. Three-man rush. They haven't done much to threaten Fromm tonight. He throws incomplete. Fromm off the play fake. Throws far sideline. Nice coverage by Jamison Houston. To the wide side. From near side, caught, lunging for the line to gain is Simmons. Goal goal unit is coming out. Great look from the camera in the yard marker. And that's a perfect throw, too. I mean, if he's going to be a first round pick, that's going to weigh pretty heavily mm -hmm. on his decision. Pressured immediately, and for one of the few times tonight, James Lockhart was there first, and down goes from. By Kate Mays. He gets too wide on his set, and Lockhart goes right inside him immediately, and then Lynch is working on a tight end, Eli Wolf. That's a mismatch for Lynch, but it was poor footwork by Kate Mays. 44th of the season. Georgia doesn't give up many. From in trouble again. Bravion Roy. He had there. He wanted to throw to Pickens right now. Didn't like it. And by that time, nothing there in Bravion Roy. An extra long so far against this Baylor defense. They send Kenny McIntosh out. Here's Matt Landers. And he gets stood up and driven down. A deep play action shot on first down. And it is a play fake. From almost from the back line of the end zone, a little too long for George Pickens. All in a two-point stance on a third down play. From out of the end zone, far sideline, wide open. Tyler Simmons, big play for Georgia, out across the 30-yard line. In terms of who was going to cover the deep third, the corner went deep. There was no underneath defender, and an easy throw and catch and a read by Jake. For Isaiah Wilson, who had started 24 games in his career. Opted not to play tonight. Drop pass, Zamir White, open in the flat. Receiver on the team. Kenny McIntosh, the running back now. From fake to him. Pickens, nifty moves after the catch. Wow. What and effort. lunges forward for what looks to be a first down. After the catch, it's just a short route. He attacks the leverage of the defender. Attacks that outside shoulder. Jake Fromm gets him the ball on time. And then you just see the toughness and the strength. 33-6 to six Georgia win. <laughs> I think he's going to break it before the, before the night's done. James Lynch didn't get anywhere near Fromm. He throws on the move, and it is dropped in the end zone by Demetrius Robertson. Arnold. Well, because Jake Fromm was moving in the pocket and throwing back to his left, the ball kind of got outside. If that ball is thrown where he can continue to run to it, it's an easy catch. Should have been a catch, was not a catch, but it was a little... From last year wouldn't be much different this year had they not dropped so many balls. From finally James Lynch introduces himself. Left tackle. Now Kinley, the left guard, is there to help, but doesn't really do a good job helping his left tackle. When you talk to people, the grades are kind of all over the place for Jake Fromm. Sets up a screen to Kenny McIntosh. Just played a really nice ball game. But Georgia was an outstanding football team a year ago. The top four Absolutely. finish in the final poll. On the other pass by the way that they're recruiting.